Welcome to our heads, um, Otis. We got we got something from you earlier today. So I have received news that Disney has pulled all physical media from Australia. There will be no more DVDs or Blu-rays sold in Australia for any of their uh, products. In New Zealand. So that that just means that they they're not shipping or publishing any more physical media in Australia, right? So like the existing stuff there, they're still kind of selling. They're going to sell it. That's, that's going to be there. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're not making any new ones for Aus- for the Australian market. That's wild. So, so yeah. I saw this coming a million miles away. <laughs> we talked about this previously. Um, I think it's only a matter of time before it comes goes to Japan and Europe. And then the states, <gasps> and then they just stop because what they want to do is they want everything to be on Disney Plus. It forces everybody to subscribe to Disney Plus so they can gatekeep all of their stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. And the uh, the added bit benefit of that is that they can freely edit, censor, and update all of their stuff so they can remove stuff that's. Uh, problematic from older films mm-hmm. and in the future films that are released now that might be p- problematic in the future where you can't say uh, he or she or whatever oh my <laughs> new, God. new movies in the future um, and uh, they can also say well this movie um, is not uh, profitable so we're just going to remove it from the service you know and it, you can't watch it anymore and it's not available anywhere and it, I think That's- if that works for them, other companies are going to follow suit. And then you're not going to have access to anything anymore. Uh, like if something, if they take it off the service, you can't, you can't find it anywhere, you know? And that was, has always been my issue with the whole digital movement. It's great for, you know, if, you want to watch something that you've never seen before. You, you didn't see it in the theater or you don't want to see it in the theater. You might rent it and watch it and say, oh, that was a good movie. It, I don't I, I don't want to buy it because it wasn't that great or whatever. But it was nice to waste some time and, you know, turn my brain off or whatever. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you like something uh, and it's a, it becomes a favorite or it really touched you or said something to you, you might want to own it. You know, but a lot of these companies are not allowing you to own stuff anymore. Like Netflix, licks all their originals, you can't buy them. You know, yeah. So yeah, for, for yeah for a movie that I like, there's one on there called uh, Forget the uh, Spectral. Uh, it's a re- really cool movie, and I would like to watch it whenever I want. But I I have to go on to Netflix to watch it. And say I'm in Canada, it's not available there. You know, say I'm in a place where there's no Wi-Fi or no Internet. I can't watch it. You know, mm-hmm. what if I'm on a cruise? I can't watch it. You know, so um, that's when it's nice to be able to own and have those. Uh, uh, and it's all so it, 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 it digital can be good as a backup. So when I buy a Blu-ray or um, a 4K, I also get the online, you know, the digital version. So it's good to have a backup. So if your house explodes or whatever, and all your physical media is burnt to a crisp, you still have the, the digital. Look at Keith's face. He would cry and jump, jump off a cliff. I would, I would die. <laughs> you would just run, run back in the house and say, take me far. <laughs> but um, that's crazy. You don't have two copies of everything. You have the second copy in the off, <laughs> offshore location. In a, right. In the Swedish bank account. <laughs> On my manga. Right. There's, there's no money in here. <laughs> but um, I think that's the issue with the digital thing. And it's also, also with music. A lot of people don't own music anymore. They just stream it, you know. Um, so... And sometimes, uh, say for instance, the Beatles will be like, "We don't want you our stuff streamed, so we're we're taking all our stuff off all the streaming platforms." Or say, uh, an artist does the R. Kelly or the Lizzo, and gets in trouble, and the streaming services said, "We're gonna t- take 
all their music off of our services, then you can't listen to it anymore, you know? So I think, uh, you know, everything should be available in several different ways, you know, digital, physical, streaming, you know, whatever, uh, you know. So what do, are, are, are your thoughts? Do you think this is going to trickle down to the states or do you think this is a, a one-off and they'll maybe re reverse their decision or whatever? Keith? Well, from, um, well, from what I've read, I've read that this isn't the first time Disney's done it. I think maybe um, it's probably the first time that I guess they've done it for an entire continent. <laughs> um, I... Excuse me. I mean, yeah, I completely, I think I disagree with any type of decision like this. Um, it might be, maybe sales weren't that great in Australia and New Zealand. Um, so maybe that's like, they're just wasting their, their money. But um, I think in terms of like the grand scheme of things, I don't believe it's like the, like I, I've said it before. I don't think streaming is the answer to um, our need our like the needs for our, Maybe for consumption, sure, but for like, f like future, like not future proofing, but just for like continuation of things, I don't think it's the answer. It's just like you said, like the shows can be taken off, um, things can maybe be modified or censored or edited. Um, there's just so many things that can be uh, that done with these types of things. Netflix, yeah, the uh, shows that you've enjoyed don't get released uh, physically or any other way for you to actually like own it and if you feel like you actually want to have a copy of that um if there's a, a, like the digital way is okay like when you buy something you can get like the the digital copy but that uh like that's tied to another service though that's like tied to like i think like what for us is uh movies anywhere that oh, what, i remember what like ultraviolet mm -hmm. yeah yeah ultraviolet you have voodoo um whatever the other ones like luckily they kind of moved into this one thing but um what happens when movies anywhere shuts down or something like that um if there was a nut like i'm pie like i was thinking about it not too long ago like maybe if there was a way like if we're going to start to get rid of digital i still want a way that i can feel like i actually own it i mean get rid of get rid of physical uh if there's a way i can actually i actually own it like maybe allowing me to download the full like not maybe an ISO, but maybe a full like size movie for me to, if I purchase it. Um, for me, I'm also, I guess it's not just the movie. It's also like limited edition things, like specialty things. You like the still books and the booklets and all that stuff, the yeah. collectible part of it. So uh, yeah, like <laughs> posting the, the magic wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a whole you haven't even like opened this. it. No, I haven't opened it yet. I've seen it, but I haven't opened this one. He said soon. <laughs> Unboxing stream. So Keith and I are different because, I mean, I like uh, owning stuff, but it, I don't have the space for all the still books and the boxes and all that stuff. So I get rid of that and put them all in a binder. Um, I still own it, but I just don't display it because like that, I don't have it. The, the real estate to make a wall of uh, movies. I think, you know, I think I can say like behind wall. you, like all oh. your figs are not in boxes because they don't fit in boxes. So they're just out <laughs> of the cabinet. I, I mean, space is at a premium here. Uh, and, mm. you know, the only thing about collecting anything is either you have to get rid, rid of older stuff or stuff that is less valuable to make room for newer stuff because you can't expand your house at, as your collection expands, you know, like my basement was full, like every wall had movies on it, you know, and I was out of, out of space. And I was like, I can't keep doing this because where am I going to expand this into the hallway and up the stairs and in the bathrooms, you know, so you can't, you can't do that, you know, unless yeah. you li live in a football stadium, or something, you know, <laughs> so you're going to, at some point you run out of space, you know, and it like Keith, you're, your wall falls on you while you're sleeping uh, because it's that so was on. It was mounted very weakly, and it was books. I switched it over from something lighter to something heavier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yep. was, but, it an, was it an IKEA uh, floating shelf? <laughs> no, I. It was. Um, it was a normal shelf. It was just a wooden shelf that was uh, mounted in the wall, but it was mounted in the wall using uh, wall plugs. Um, um, and so. 
you know, VHSs are way lighter than a whole Books? like low row of manga. So you say you um, were sleeping. Yes, I was sleeping. I heard. Did you think I it felt... was like an earthquake or an explosion? So yeah. <laughs> so it, I was for some reason at the one of the times it just happened to be the time that I was dreaming, and I was actually dreaming, and for some reason I like heard the like the creaking and cracking in my mind, um, but I couldn't recognize it. But once I play it back, like I, heard, I was some reason my mind switched me over to like some war zone, and I was <laughs> like running through a war zone, and it's just like this just creaking and cracking going on, and then next thing you know, it's just boom and like it just like in my my brain associated that with me like stepping on a landmine and being like blown like you up thought you were dead <laughs> yeah i thought I, was, I literally thought i was like in, getting ready like dying and like uh it just all the stuff that crashed on some other things but also landed over on top of me because it happened to be partially over my bed at the time and yeah it crashed on me and like i woke up just screaming because i felt all the stuff just falling on me i thought i was like in pieces <laughs> so just like it was like some did your parents run way. in with a with a they, cot yeah <laughs> in the med kit <laughs> Man, they no. ran in <laughs> they didn't run in because they've never heard me scream before and i don't so uh, that how, like how much damage time. did it do to your wall it didn't do that much damage. It just like ripped out of the wall. Like I think I had to plug it up, like patch it up, but it really just like the plugs just ripped out, just slid out of the wall. So you had like big quarter size holes in your wall or whatever? Yeah, I think they were like that big. Like dime um, size. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Nickel easy size. They just ripped out they yeah, just ripped them all out of the wall. Yeah. Uh, no, and since then coach. everything has been put in studs. None of this is a wall plug. No, no, no that's never best again. way to do it. Yeah, so never again. All right, well, but, that's all I had to say about the topic. Uh, Paulo, you can uh, close this out. Uh, well, I don't know where you guys fall in this kind of issue, um, but I hope uh, you're not collecting stuff because they're going away soon. Um, oh, maybe you should collect stuff because maybe <laughs> you can put it in an auction. Um, but anyway, we'll everything. see you guys on our next drop. Later. Later.